So look, in the world of dropshipping, there is one thing that can either make or break your business, which no one seems to talk about. And that is the fulfillment part. This is an aspect you need to perfect to reach the next level and scale your business. And yes, even if you're just getting started. I will go over exactly how to automate your fulfillment process in this video. Now, keep in mind that I'm talking from personal experience. If I did not have all my systems set up properly, I would not have been able to read five figure months with my dropshipping products. And no, I will not be selling you a course or gatekeeping anything. I will show you the proper way how to fulfill your orders, so make sure to stick around till the end. I don't wanna waste any more time of you guys, so let's dive right in. So the whole point of dropshipping is that you actually never see or touch the products or hold any inventory from the products you sell to your customers because you have people in China that are shipped the products directly to your customer. So if you think about it, the fulfillment process is basically automated. But who sources your products and who fulfills your products is actually where you need to pay attention to. Sure, there are many fulfillment options out there, which the main being is AliExpress. And there are other tools like Deezers or CG dropshipping. But let me tell you why AliExpress won't work for you in the long run first and tell you the dark secret about these fulfillment tools you see out there. Anyway, the common issues with AliExpress comes down to four points that you need to know about. The first one is slow shipping and processing times. Believe it or not, but it can take you anywhere between 20 to 60 days for a product to arrive to your customer. On top of that, the processing time on AliExpress can take up to seven days. At that point, your customer will not have any tracking number and any updates about their orders. So just imagine the frustration and the concerns that you will start building up at this part. So the risk of getting chargebacks at this point is very high as well. The second point is the ordering process. So when it comes down to using AliExpress to fulfill your orders, you have to do it all manually. Meaning that once you receive an order, you will have to take the customer's shipping details and all the other information. Go to AliExpress and order the product to their address. There are of course tools to automate this, but at any point, the shipping times are still slow. So coming at the third point is the middleman. Now you might be shocked to hear this, but the majority of the suppliers you see on AliExpress are actually Chinese dropshippers themselves. They source the products from a website called 1688 and list the products on AliExpress for a higher price. This means that you can source your products for a cheaper price if you go with another route, which I will get in very soon. Last but not least is communication. The suppliers on AliExpress are usually very bad at communication. If you just have no idea how your supplier is operating or what's going on behind the scenes and if they're having a trouble or not, the communication part from their side is not good at all. So in conclusion, you will shoot yourself into the food if you will fulfill your orders with AliExpress. It's just not good to do that in the long run. Now you might be thinking, okay, if not AliExpress, can I use other tools like Deezers or for example, CG dropshipping. Well, yes, you can. But the problem is that the platforms are more like marketplaces between dropshippers and suppliers. And what happens is, is that oftentimes these platforms will act as a middleman and take a cut of the supplier's revenue, which is what you as a dropshipper pay to fulfill your orders. And this forces suppliers to mark up their prices more what they need to be. So even with these fulfillment tools, you pay more for your product than you should be. But when you're first going to start with dropshipping and you have a couple of orders per day, I actually recommend to do that via these platforms. But after you have five to 10 orders per day, I strongly recommend to go over to service points. I work with service points on all of my dropshipping stores and I know that all the big boys out there do that as well. Service Points has basically direct contact with private suppliers and agency in China. They'll be able to source any product that you want and ship it to the customer. So instead of you having to do business and have a middleman in the way, you will have directly contact with your own supplier. Now let's dive deeper into the four main benefits of working together with Service Points. First of all, faster shipping and processing times. 
When you work with service points, you can significantly reduce the shipping and processing times that often come with AliExpress. Service points has a well-established system in place and can therefore ship out products much faster and cheaper. One example is the use of what's called the service points dashboard. It helps streamline various aspects of the business from inventory management to order processing and customer service. And if you're using Shopify, service points will be able to easily connect the ERP system with your Shopify store. Once you connected your store with service points, they can see any order you receive and this will show up instantly in the dashboard and they can start processing the order. This will of course save them a lot of time from having to separately log into each and every store of a client they have. Now let's talk about cost efficiency. It's not a secret that every penny count in the world of dropshipping or business in general. When you source products through service points you often get access to much better prices and that's because service points is be using a bidding system which I will show you in a minute. They are also not working through a platform as a middleman, so there are no extra fees that need to be paid. And that's why service points can source products cheaper than AliExpress suppliers, because AliExpress takes a platform fee of 5 to 8% for each transaction. Now, moving on to the third point is customization and branding. One of the major limitations of AliExpress is that you have a little control over the product branding. However, with service points, you can customize products to align with your brand identity. And this means that you can add your logo, choose specific colors, and even request personalized packaging, all of which can boost your brand's recognition and trustworthiness. This is honestly a very good benefit of working with service points since your goal after finding a winning product should be starting branding it. Lastly, let's discuss communication. When you use service points, you typically have direct access to a dedicated account manager or a team. This leads to you being able to have smoother communication and faster time to solve issues unlike AliExpress, where communication can be challenging. Service points have excellent customer support and this leads to a lot of other benefits, such as happier customers, fewer chargebacks, better Facebook page scores, and overall less headache when running your dropshipping business. So it does not require much to figure this out. But service points is where you should go when it comes to fulfilling your orders. This is the absolute best alternative to AliExpress. And now you might be thinking, how do I even get in touch with service points? So to save you some time and headache, I have a special link down below in the description. You can sign up for free and they will contact you within a few days. So now let's dive shortly into the dashboard of service points so you guys know what to expect from them. So guys, welcome to the dashboard of service points and you can immediately see your revenue, the products that you have sold and the product costs. So you can calculate really easy your total profit of the day. So here on the top right corner, you see your current balance. And if you want to have more money on the account, it's really easy to do that by different payment methods. So let's check it out. You can use Ideal, PayPal, Bank Contact, etc. But you can also use American Express. What's really interesting because you can also collect American Express points. Here on this side, you see your previous payments to service points. And you can, of course, see the receipts as well. I go over this really quick now, but I will make a detailed video in the next week. So let's go to orders now. So with one click on this product, you can see the complete details of this product, including the history. So as you can see right here, it's the complete tracking history of this product. And if there are any issues with this product, you can do a special request as well. But you will see often with Shopify that you need like a proof that the products has been shipped. And then with this tool, you can easily provide that to Shopify. You can also use the chat function what's really nice. So you can chat directly to your supplier and ask questions about the product or the specific shipment. So guys, this is the part where it's getting really interesting. This is called the bidding system. And I already did this morning a quotation request on this specific product. And as you can see, already two suppliers replied with an offer. 
and I think the difference is really really small between these suppliers because the first one is bidding for 18 euros and 48 cents the other one is bidding for 18 euros and 74 cents um, now it's only a difference of 30 cents but keep in mind if you have like 100 orders per day these 30 cents will be very expensive at the end of the year so Normally there is a difference from I think one euro and that's really big but also in this case it looks like only 30 cents but 30 cents is a lot of money. And the main thing I like on this bidding system is that service points came up and some recommendations from each supplier. So you can check out the features and the statistics and in this case it has a really fast response time of at least 3.8 days. The average shipping time of the supplier is 8 days and the dispute rate is 1.47%. So I think the score overall looks pretty good. Now this is one of the examples for the bidding system but of course if you have a lot of products or you have testing a lot of products this can be really interesting. So again guys if you're interested in service points the link is down below in the description. I hope I give you guys a clear understanding on how to fulfill your own orders today. If you found this video very useful then make sure to like it and of course subscribe on the channel if you want to see more content about dropshipping and e-commerce. I will see you in the next one. Ciao!